back. For you Lord of the Rings fans, I'm going to show you how to make little hobbit houses. This is, uh, I've got various, various sizes of hobbit houses. I have them in the backyard, uh, in the garden. That's a little bit big. There we go. Now, these are, these are just simple ones. Okay? But, a very, very nice effect. Fairly easy to do. They look about as hobbity as you, you know, as you want. You can detail them up a lot, a heck of a lot more. There's uh, room in the bottom for uh, so you can place them over top of your troops. Okay, that hole there is well, it hits a uh, yogurt containers or cottage cheese or. What I do is I drill a hole, I stick this in the hole, and I use my mixture that I'm going to tell you about on top. Once it's dry, I cut it off, okay? There's one with two, much bigger. It's going to be kind of a bag end type effect. Okay? Now, in case you don't have a yogurt container or a hole, saw it big enough to cut one of those. This is one saw. To get one actually to cut that big, you need one of around a dryer bent size. I think that it was four and a half inches. Okay. You can get adjustable ones. You gotta run them on your drill press. They're kind of dangerous, boy. But don't be sticking your face inside there because you got about a six inch bar spinning around. It's kind of dangerous. So anyways, here I've used a taped on a piece of uh, tape, packing tape roll. It's uh, the cardboard tube off a of piece of packing tape. I was going to put a door in it and stuff, but I think we're just going to fill it up. So anyways, rather than gluing it on there, I've just taped it on. And I'm going to fill it up with a plastic bag. And put a little piece of tape just over the top of it just to hold the plastic bag down. That way if I decide later that I want to cut a hole in the bottom of it, so I can have access, access for my troops. Then I can I can do so in the meantime. That's it. Okay, now because I've got a little hole there, and you never know what a, what a guy might want to do. You might want to put a door all the way through into the inside. I'm going to put an arrow on the outside here, showing where that little hole is. Okay, I'll just use a pencil. This is the stuff I use, expanding foam. You could guess from what this looked like, okay? This has got the goop coating mixed on it. Uh, that's, uh, I've got, uh, just look for goop in, in me. It's, it's a recipe there that I've got for coating it. Makes it very tough. You can repair it easily, okay? Now, it's over top of this foam, expanding foam. There's lots of different types of this, okay? This one is a low expanding foam, okay? A lot of people have looked at these and I tell them what I use and then they go home and they make a huge mess and they never try it again, okay? So I'm going to show you an easy way of using this. Hey, that. Now, due to the 10 minute rule, okay, I've got to make this kind of short and that's why it pauses, okay? Sorry about that. Again. We're using expanding foam to make hobbit houses, okay? Now, this stuff says right on it, says wear, well it says wear eye protection. I've got glasses, I'm blind already. But it does says always wear gloves, okay? So use these plastic, you know, cheap food type gloves or whatever. Make sure they're disposable. If you've got a good t-shirt on, like my... Night of the Living Dead t-shirt here. Make sure you cover yourself up with something, you know. Just a, use a work apron or a, cut a hole in a plastic bag and climb inside, stick your head out the side. Either way, this stuff is messy, okay? Even after you've done it lots of times. And, and it does not wash off. It doesn't wash off. Wears off your hands. Okay, so use gloves. Now you can see I've used this can here already. That's, that's how I saved the can. It comes with a much longer straw. 
Some of these come with a little fancy thing where you bend the thing over and you put a clothes peg on it. I use a piece of gum and I just keep shoving it in there, okay? Sorry for all the noise in here. The wind is picking up again. We had a heck of a storm last night. Started off 50 forest fires in our area, so I know this might have to evacuate here in a little bit. Anyways, shake the stuff up, use it upside down, and go lightly, okay? Do not, don't put on a whole bunch, and don't make it expand, okay? So don't build it up to the size of, of the building that, that you figure you're going to have, okay? Do it less, okay? So I go around just like you're decorating a cake, okay? and just put on a nice thin low low coating and try to cover up everything okay that's, that's usually what I do try not to make you know have too many holes okay so you just want a coating on top of everything you don't want a huge pile okay and again this is the low expanding so I get this from home hardware up here uh, I can't ship it anywhere because it's our uh, Nazi postal service. Okay. All right, there's a nice low coating. Okay, now the reason why I use disposable gloves is, you know, kind of want to pack it down a little bit. You don't want all these uh, too many spiky spots. Okay, and then the other thing I do is I kind of spread it along the bottom. Okay, now. I'm just going to show you there what we started with. Okay, now see how low I've spread that on there? Okay, that's that's very, very thin. That'll, that'll, that'll expand up a lot, and I'll show you later. Okay. Now, this seems to be a big mess. Sometimes, you know, you just, boy, just kind of be happy with how it first went on. Other times you can do what I'm doing here and you know pack it down and make a screen mess. Now you can see you can see some of my black electrician tape through there. Don't worry about that. If necessary we can always put on another coat, okay? This stuff should kind of be done outside too. This is another reason for these disposable gloves. Well uh clean hands. And you should stick this back in there as soon as you can, okay? I'm going to add just a little bit more. But, yeah. Don't do anything with this stuff without, <laughs> without your gloves on. <laughs> it doesn't burn or anything like that. Uh, I suppose it, yeah, it off gases and it's not the greatest stuff, eh? But it's sticky. Okay. We're just going to add a little bit more there, right? Now it'll skim over pretty quick, but wait until tomorrow before we work on this one. Okay, voila, start of a hobbit house. Ugly. Keep your gloves on until you got it someplace where you're not going to be touching anything. Make sure you take your gloves off before you grab the